G'day, I'm walking to market Sam after work. Today, a quick video to discuss a question I get quite regularly, which is do man monolithic bullets, monolithic projectiles, wear your barrel more? Um, it's a question that's coming uh, reasonably commonly. Um, I don't know the areas, are, there's some parts of Europe, there's some parts of the US, there's I think all over the place, there's the, the anti-lead thing is going further and further. Um, as for the full logic of that conversation, it isn't quite <laughs> well sorted, but not something I'm trying to discuss here. Um, what I am trying to, would like to explain to people is, um, is answer that question. Do the monolithic bullets, are they going to cause more wear to your rifle? Um, largely the answer is no, they're not. Um, a little more complicated than that, um, and I'll try and explain that a little bit now. <laughs> that is, um, to the largest degree, the projectile is not the bit that wears your barrel. It's the gases that wear the barrel. Thousands of degrees of, of gases traveling at thousands of kilometers an hour is what causes the erosion, high temperatures, and, and the wear in your barrel. The bullet, even though the, there is friction, even though it's traveling super fast, it is softer metal than the, than the um, barrel, than the rifling, so it doesn't cause the wear. It's the heat, it's the gases that cause the wear. So is the bullet going to wear the barrel more? No, it's not. Well, the projectile going to wear the barrel more? No, it's not. Actually, in cases I've seen research done, I've not shot it myself, where they've shot steel barrels down a 50 BMG and shot steel projectiles down there, which once again, that steel is softer than the high carbon steel of the barrel and the rifling and the hardened side of the rifling, and it didn't cause any wear either. So no, it's not the projectile, but the detail goes into it is barrel wear is like I said, caused by gases, but it's also caused by the amount of gas, the, high, the rate of the temperature and the speed of things. So generally a faster round causes more erosion, so it causes more wear. So if you have gone from a round of where you were shooting, let's say it's a 308 as your hunting round and you were shooting a 180 gram projectile and it was doing around 2,500 feet per second, um, and you're doing a fair bit of shooting with it as well. So you're not, you're hunting, but you're also load development or practice or whatever it is, and you're shooting quite a few rounds with it. And you change over to a monolithic projectile that generally in most cases, what people making it happen is because of the density of the bullet and because of why it's set up, they're running a different bullet, which has more speed. So it gives you the same um, impact at target tends to give you a little flatter shooting, but let's say you've gone now to a monolithic that's 110 grains and it's doing 2800 feet per second, all that neck of the woods. Then yes, not because of the projectile, but because of the round, because of the speed of the gases, because of the speed of things, it's moved into more likely to wear. Now it's only a small change, it's not much. So for normal average a bit of planking a bit of hunting um, and you know the 500 rounds a year sort of thing um, it's unlikely to show up in, in any form that matters in that in that place but it's all about the details if you do lots of planking with it it already was a round that was doing 20, 2800 feet per second it's gone to 3300 feet per second okay we might have moved into where we're getting closer to where that erosion's got higher there's another side of a monolithic bullet is or really the way a lead core bullet works is because of the malleable lead on the inside of the bullet with just a copper coating. Although the copper is still copper on the outside, what happens when you actually shoot a, a lead core bullet is it deforms and fits neater to the barrel. Um, that means that it gets good, its speed is basically it uses all that gas very thoroughly because it seals really thoroughly with a monolithic bullet and depending on your rifling and depending on your exact clearances depends how that bullet set up that projectile is set up whether it's got what sort of drive bands it got or how it's actually sealing to the barrel because they're solid copper they don't deform anywhere near as much if at all so you can get more gas leaking past the bullet is where i'm going with that conversation which means then you're using more gas to get to the same speed and you've got more erosion because of that so Listen, once again, if you're not doing a huge amount with it, if it's just a hunting round and it's really, there's a lot of hunting rounds that would do less than, than 50 rounds a season sort of thing. Um, 
with checking your site, zeroing and, and get a little bit of range practice and then go out and do what they've got to do, it's just not an issue whatsoever, not something to be concerned with. If you're actually doing a lot of shooting with it and changing over to the monolithic projectiles or monolithic projectile rounds, um, then it's worthwhile checking out some details. Um, so the, the simple answer is no, the bullet does not wear the barrel anymore. The more complicated answer is it really depends on the details. Um, and if you do lots of rounds with this thing or it's already on the edge, worthwhile do some asking. And I suppose that's the place where to really find the, really find the answers, whether it's your local forums, where it's the local hunters, where it's the local gun shops, um, wherever it is, there is always information on the ground. Um, and each year goes by, by as more people do and change over this sort of thing, you're going to get more of this feedback. But largely, no, not something to be concerned with. Um, and listen, I hope that's of some help to some people. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking in on us. And we'll catch you next time.